Okay, I said this at the very beginning, that, that the Pearson's R is a parametric test, and what that means is that we have to be sure that the, the variables we're using are normally distributed. So back to uh, what I talked about in previous sessions, you can produce charts and have a look at them and so on. Uh, but actually you can do a test as well uh, to see about uh, whether they're normal or not. What if they're not? What if the variables aren't normally distributed? If they're in some, distributed in some other way? And, and I have to say, in many cases, these kinds of measures often are. In that case, we have to use non-parametric statistics that don't make assumptions about normality. And the equivalent of Pearson's R, which is the parametric one, is either Kendall's Tau or Spearman's Row. And we'll probably, um, if I get time, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you Spearman's Row. So Spearman's Row is, is almost exactly the same in terms of how you do it as Pearson's R, same interpretation and so on, but it's a slightly more cautious statistic. Um, it gives you a slightly lower significance level uh, when, when you do it. Okay. So how do you assess normality? Well, first thing to do is always produce a, a chart. Um, and here's a simple bar chart. This one's of IQ score, so it's going to be very close to norm normality. Uh, so you look and see whether you've got this kind of a chart with the bell shape to it. If you have, you can rest assured, go ahead, use Pearson's R. If you haven't, or if it's divergent from that, then probably it's safer to use the non-parametric equivalent. Um, you can use a statistical test. I'm not going to show you this, but there is a test you can do in SPSS. It, uh, we, we can practice this in the, in the labs. Uh, the Kolmogorov Smirnov test and the Shapiro Wilkes test are two tests for uh, normality. Um, there are debates about this, which one to use, whether you should use it or not, uh, but always use a histogram as well. So you can test statistically whether it's normal or not. But actually, I would always start by looking at the, the, the chart. Have a look at the variables in a histogram, first of all, to see what they look like. A couple of other points is that actually the parametric test, the Pearson's R, is pretty robust, even if it is slightly off normal. So I don't worry too much about it being a nice, nicely shaped bell curve. If it's roughly bell shaped, then that's probably going to be good enough for Pearson's R. It's quite robust in that sense. Um, particularly with small samples, um, that's the truth. But if the data are, here's a couple of examples, skewed, so here's some skewed ones, so you can see this relationship here, I talked about this in a previous week, all of it, the, it's a nice, nice just, you know, bell-shaped curve, but it's all skewed towards the lower end, or in this case, it's skewed the other way, towards the upper end. If it's skewed, or even worse, you've got a relationship like this, which is bimodal, two peaks on it, then I would steer clear of Pearson's R and use a non-parametric equivalent. So use, use um, the, uh, um, the row test instead. <laughs>